DJ Pro for the Mac is loaded with so many amazing features. And in this video, I'm going to show you where all the hidden drop down menus are and show you exactly what they do. So let's get started. All right, so this is the screen that you are gonna probably see when you start the app. It may be different, there may be joggles, there may not be, but this is the screen that I'm, I am going to start with. And I'm gonna show you the hidden drop down menus on this screen, and then we'll get to the other expansions of the features. All right, starting with this one here, this is for an amazing feature that is exclusive to DJ Pro, and it is Crossfader Effects. What it does is it does a transition for you based on whichever one you choose. There's riser, there's echo, there's a lot of neural mix ones, and it will do the transition for you just by moving the crossfader back and forth. So let me see if I can get an example. So just by moving the crossfader, it's going to do a transition for you. It's really cool. Definitely a cool feature to check out and the practice with. I'm going to make a specific video for that. So let's move on to the next one. Next one is going to be over here. This is Neuromix. What it does is it can take out the vocals, remove the instrumentals. You can make mashups and it works amazing. And now you can use it with Tidal which is great. And this hidden drop down menu over here, you could change it from instrumentals to acapella. So this side's instrumental, this side's acapella, or you could have percussal, percussive or tonal. You see this little image changes. You got the drums there, and then you got the guitars and the microphones and other stuff there. It's whatever it fits your style of DJing and the genre of music that you're going to be DJing with. So it's really cool. And I like how that little icon updates when you change it. Next is going to be over here. So we have our BPM, and this is how you're gonna control the tempo and the speed of the track with the BPM slider up here, up, down, raise the BPM, lower the BPM. To get more precise, if we press this hidden drop down menu over here, now we could change it, tempo, so we could adjust the BPM this way. You could actually type it in, so if you wanted to get 125 BPM, you could do it like that. You could edit the BPM, you could tap it in, you could get really precise with the BPM, and then you could change the ranges. So at eight, it's gonna be the smallest range, only gonna increase or increase or decrease the BPM by 8%, or you could go all the way up to 25 if you like to do big BPM transitions like I do. Next is gonna be over here, EQ. So we have an EQ here, lows, mids, and highs. We can change this to Neuromix. So instead of the regular EQ that you're used to, you can have a Neuromix EQ, drums, harmonics, and vocals. Really cool, definitely nice to have that feature. And then if you have that selected, you see the N here instead of EQ over there. And then to change it back, you could just press it once. Goes back to EQ. Another one that is really hidden is gonna be over here. This is the key of your tracks. If, if you're a very beginner or you don't have a musical background, it won't really make sense to you, but this is the, the key. This song is in an A, this one is in a C. If we press the drop down menu, you can match them up just like that with one touch. And now it's gonna match to this, it's gonna match the other one, or you could reset it, or you could adjust it manually like that. So you can control the key. It's really cool that they added it. So that's it for this screen. But this app, they were able to fit so many features by adding these kind of um, expansions. So starting over here, we have our, so starting over here, we have this expansion with our BPMs and our beat grid. So again, we have that BPM control over here. If you do this drop down menu, over here is a cool one. First bar, you could change anchor it. You could insert custom down beats within the beat grid. You could adjust beats by shifting the beat grid. With the update, they added more ways to customize and adjust the beat grid, which is really cool. So this is the screen where you can control that. And then the way to change this, we're still in the same, we're still in the same extended drop down, but in the middle here we have some options. So this is the this is the beat grid editor that I showed you. And then the middle one here, this is for our loops. And then now you see there's no hidden drop down menu on these two ones. But when we switch there, now we're in our loops and we get a hidden drop down menu. So with this menu, we could go control our save loops, we can do our manual loops, we have more control of our loops, we could do auto loops, or we could do bounce. So I'm just going to bring it down to manual loops. And then another hidden drop down menu is going to be by the quantizer. 
that only comes up in this screen. And then we could quantize our loop. One, you could go from four all the way to one and 16s, and then you could select it to be quantized or not. Now here we are in our cue points, and then we could also control our quantized with our cue points. And then we get a new drop down menu when you click on it. That's why it's really hidden because it's not there till you click on it, so you would have no idea it's there. Now we could go from cue points to pitch cue, slice, and skip. These are more features involving the cue. So now I'm just going to put it back. So if you don't want to see this, if you're not going to use these features, you could press this again and then it goes away. So now we're in our effects. So with our effects, to change the effect that you're using is a drop down menu. So you could choose whichever effect you want, or you could go audio video effect or video visual effects. There's so many effects in this amazing app and it takes a while to get through them all. Look how, many, how much scrolling you have to do. So the drop down menu are gonna control each individual effect. You could have three effects playing on each track at the same time. So that's our effects. We're gonna get rid of that. Now we have Neuromix, the drop down menu over here. We could get more a, a more advanced neural mix. We could do three, three neural mix tracks. We could even go to four. And then again, percussal and tonal. I made a separate video about neural mix. You guys could check that out. So now you may not see anything over here, but if you do this, it expands it out, and then we get some more expansions. So here we have our looper and our sampler. So this is going to be our sampler. And then the drop down menu over here, another BPM control. And then over here, this is going to record. So when you press it, it's going to record. And then the sample is going to be, is going to be synced up. And then we press the drop down menu. We could do four bar, four beat recording, eight beat recording, or we could do, we could do quantize, or we could clear the recording for our sampler. And then to change our sample packs is this drop down menu over here. You start off with the essentials and then there are so many packs that you can add to the app. There's also visual loops as well. Exit out like that. And then now you press this button to get to our looper. So these you could kind of make your own beats. You could change the BPM again over there. And then you could change your packs over there with that drop down menu. Let's get rid of that. Now this button, I don't know what to call it, but it's going to add more features. So right here, these are the features that we have. If you press it, you get these features. So you could get different features up here. You still have your library. It doesn't expand or take up your library. And then now over here, we could we have our cue points. It's the same drop down menu as if you had this part open, but it's up here instead of down there. So I'm not gonna go through each individual one. And then the next one is going to be our waveforms. So now you get waveforms in the middle. You don't lose any features at all. They get a little bit smaller and we have this big, beautiful view of our waveform with a new drop down menu. And then that is here. You could do slice, skip, high contrast, low contrast, and adjust stuff here. If you want to learn more about the amazing waveforms in this app, check out this video over here. Thank you.